quick how to drop the bar together and roll up this warp and then I'm gonna go have a margarita. It's definitely time. Okay, the loom's all set up. My little table's all set up, including the bug spray. It is horrible here. And then over here, my warping bar is all set up. Um, it is clamped to this railing. Please don't judge my yard. I've spent all my outside time on the front and the side yards and the food garden so far. But I will get it cleaned up. What I'm gonna do is put all the dowels in for this project. It's about 20 inches wide, so I'm. this hole is the center. I'm gonna put 10 on, actually I'm gonna put 11 on either side just to make sure like I don't miscount and I have enough and all that stuff. And then this is a 12.5 DPI reed. If you just direct warp with your warping peg, you just need to set your peg up. I have the center of this heddle marked, but I'm going to mark it at 20 inches on either side just so I kind of know where to start. I actually just like to run a little kind of like waste piece of yarn through. I don't like to tie it on the top because then I just have to take it out later, so this is much easier for me. time to tie on the first color and go ahead and start. I have the schematic behind me so I can keep track of my numbers on this warp. And then this towel is double warped. I know I talked about it in the first video, but just in case someone didn't see that first video. So each hole and each slot is going to have a full loop pulled through for one end of the warp. So this warp has a lot of color changes, obviously, and I've been asked before if I carry the yarn across on the back beam, um, kind of like underneath the loops of the other yarn, or if I tie it on every single time. I have this kind of silly rule in my head that if it goes over three warp ends, then I will just carry it across the back, but if it's more than that, I cut it and retie it.
Okay, so I've got this whole warp on now and I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you. It's actually so humid out here that John brought the fan out for me because I was like so sweaty. So again, there are 12 alternating, 12 and 13 all the way down. And then I'm gonna show you quick how to drop the bar together and roll up this warp and then I'm gonna go have a margarita. It's definitely time. warp is wound onto the back beam and what I actually do is take about a one inch bundle all the way across and tie a knot in it of worsted cotton yarn and I double it. I use that to actually run up through the center of each knotted bundle and go all the way across to lash it on my loom. I know people have all different ways that they like this. I just like to do it because I feel like it's a really easy way for me to adjust the tension and it also minimizes the waste so I like it better but there's lots of ways to do it and no way is really wrong if it works for you. So I always end up cutting these short. I don't know why and I just wanted to share with you that if you do this and you double the string that you're using to tie the bundles on and you should start with the knotted end and keep the looped end um, as the one that's going through all your bundles and then when you get to the end of that if it's too short you can just loop another one through it adjust your tension when it's all done it's just a lot easier if you have one continuous thread that is actually going through all your bundles and you can see me actually pulling on later um, loops to adjust the tension as I go so if you had two separate ones it would be much more difficult to get your tension even all the way across so this is like a good little trick if you're new
made it all the way across so I'm gonna tie this off and then I can start weaving I will see you guys next week for the weaving part of these episodes and I am really excited I love how these are turning out so I will probably be making another set very soon see you guys soon bye <laughs>